So John, a few months ago, we introduced vSEN Max. Uh, I guess the big question is, what is it? So, you know, this is really how you're going to turn your storage up to 11. So vSAN Max allows you to disaggregate the storage completely from the compute, from a design basis. Um, and while a lot of people may know that I'm going to have this ratio of compute to storage, and it's going to go pretty consistently, or maybe just using data store sharing, sharing to borrow some of those resources between clusters, you may have just a data hungry application that appears in a design and say, look, you know, I really need to put, you know, two petabytes on the floor and I don't really have any extra compute needs. Mm -hmm. This is something that's going to enable those applications to, uh, to scale and deploy up. No, exactly. So when we think about what vSAN Max is, it is centralized shared storage for your vSphere clusters. So think of it as the storage that you never knew you had, but we're using native vSAN uh, protocols that uh, communicate between the vSAN Max cluster and the vSphere cluster. So that offers you all different kinds of features and functionality that is inherent with any sort of vSAN uh, deployment. But now it's fully disaggregated so that you get to scale independently your storage resources from your uh, compute resources. And operationally, what's really amazing and just uh, consistent about vSAN Max is that if you know how to operate vSAN Max today, or regular vSAN, you know how to operate vSAN Max. Um, it's, you know, when you're setting up the cluster, instead of choosing, you know, regular vSAN stretch cluster, you're just going to select Max. And the existing performance tooling, operational tooling, the connectivity, storage-based policy management, all the things you already learned at how to manage vSAN today, they're going to carry forward with Max. Absolutely. And one of the final benefits here about vSAN Max is your ability to maintain the life cycle of this storage cluster is fully independent from the vSphere clusters that you have the uh, lifecycle management in already. So if you're getting ready to upgrade your vSphere clusters, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're in lockstep with uh, the needs to update the vSAN Max cluster. So a real nice benefit there as well.